Welcome back to Tenorshare everyone. iOS 17 beta is coming very soon. I know many of you guys want to try the new iOS 17. So today I would like to show you guys some tips that you need to pay attention to before you update to iOS 17 beta. These are important tips for your data safety, make sure you watch it closely. The first thing is to back up your iPhone data, beta version of iOS is not stable, so it is necessary to back up your iPhone data. You can back up your iPhone to iCloud, go to settings, Apple ID, iCloud, iCloud backup, backup now. If you don't have enough iCloud space to back up, you can use iTunes. Launch iTunes or Finder on your PC or Mac, and then connect your iPhone to it. Click the backup option, and wait for the process over. It could take a very long time. What's neat to know is, iTunes will back up the data to your computer C drive by default, which normally is your system drive too. It is unchangeable, so if don't want your iPhone data filled up your C drive and making your computer unable to use. I recommend you guys try iCareFone. It can change the backup location, it can recognize your iTunes backup, and it is an iPhone data management tool. It can transfer, backup and restore your iPhone data, check the link in the description. Once installed iCareFone, connect your iPhone to your PC or Mac, and then go to Backup Records section, click Backup. Choose the data you want to backup, like contacts, photos, videos and etc. And click Edit, select the place where storage is enough to hold the data, and click Open. Then click the Backup option, iCareFone will start to backup your iPhone data now. It will take a while if you have a lot of data on your iPhone, be patient. Once the backup is done, click View Backup Data, you can find out all the iPhone data here. Later if you want to restore backup, just go to Restore section and choose your backup file and click Restore to Device option, it is easy. Now let's move on to the next tips you should know. Second, make sure you have enough iPhone storage to load the beta on iOS, go to General, iPhone Storage. What's safe for your iPhone is at least 10GB of free space before installing the iOS 17 beta. If you don't have that much, recommend you try to delete something that you don't need. Third is to make sure your iPhone is fully charged. Battery over 60% is a nice option, if don't, make sure you charge it while you updating it. Fourth, make sure Wi-Fi is stable and the connection is strong. If the Wi-Fi connection is weak, it could be interrupted in the middle of downloading firmware and it will need to start over, it will waste a lot of time. Fifth, iOS 17 beta installation change. There are many rumors says that iOS 17 has changed the way to install developer beta iOS to reduce unnecessary bugs feedback from common iPhone users. So it brings to us a problem, if you want to catch up with the latest iOS 17 feature, you will need to install the developer beta that will be released after the WWDC 23. Now if the rumor is correct, the only way to install developer beta is to enroll developer project, which costs $99 a year. If you don't, all you can see is the public beta option, which is always later than developer beta but more stable. Honestly, it is not necessary for common iPhone users. What's more, I already enrolled in the developer project, and I will post a video about how to get iOS 17 beta on iPhone in an official way and an unofficial way for you guys after WWDC 23. Make sure you guys subscribe to us and don't miss that video, I also will add the video link to the description too, looking forward to seeing you guys in that video. Hope this video is helpful to you, enjoy it.